Hello everybody, Cyphers here. Some of you might uh, know me from the Globation, Global Innovation uh, Forum. So, uh, as soon as I received the Pastation 2, I really wanted to remotely control it. So, um, I looked into solution to do, solutions to do that, and I finally chose CTRLR controller, if you want, uh, which is a free software uh, that allows you to build your uh, your own panel uh, you can build your sliders build your your notes and things like that and uh, use uh, cc messages uh, and rpm messages and far much more things i only scratched the surface here so i uh, i will share with you my first uh, version of uh, my panel for feature lr controlling the bus station 2 In fact, I'm really uh, bothered by the fact that we can't um, modify the parameters uh, without uh, using a switch to, to choose the oscillator, choose the envelope, or thing, thing like that. So I made uh, this uh, on-screen editor. It's still a work in progress. I'd really like to, to add uh, a preset uh, load save function or uh, an editor for the for the sequence for the 32 step sequencer but at first i wanted to keep it simple but working i uh, i didn't want to do something with the uh, crippled functions i want something really working smoothly so as you can see it's pretty straightforward you, you you find here almost uh, everything you can find in the Bastion 2. You have here the first oscillator with all its parameters, the sub oscillator here, the oscillator 2 and uh, the sync. I chose to, to put it here. You find here the mixer level controls, the filter filters control with a switch from classic to acid, and uh, almost every control in the of the filter here you can find the two envelopes i chose not to reproduce the m plus mod envelope control so i didn't uh, didn't feel it had it has a utility here portamento the control we have on the arpeggiator you can uh, see we don't have the tempo now because we can't uh, we can't send a midi uh, message uh, to the to adjust the tempo in the bus station 2. Here it's uh, the on key global function you can find on the on the upper B key. It's the only global uh, on key function I could uh, implement right now. I'm still working on the MIDI channel tune and local on off uh, controls. And here you can find all the other on key functions after touch, after touch response, velocity response, the limiter on the VCA and the mod wheel action. I reproduced here the mod wheel. I chose not to, to add the pitch bend wheel. You can find here the bend amount, by the way. And here you'll find uh, two LFOs with also uh, on key functions like the tempo sync and the key sync and the slew function. And here, uh, at last, uh, the effects. So for the preset list, uh, well, I only uh, reproduced uh, factory presets uh, list here, so you can uh, jump from the from one preset to another. So here I'm on the real bus station in, on my desk. I'm on the first preset, but I can uh, easily jump to another. And so uh, we can here access the the user user patches, and uh, so you can modify it on screen, and then you can uh, use the save button in the Bastion two to uh, save it in the in the synthesizer. Well, I think it's pretty straightforward use. It's self-explanatory. I didn't. Uh, you don't implement fancy thing that nobody can understand. 
So this work is an open source project, so you can, uh, I'll share with you the, the file and you can easily uh, modify it in the CTRLR. If you enter in panel mode, you can then uh, move uh, things and you can, uh, you can change uh, the parameters, the colors or whatever you want. I, um, for the first release, I did something, well, easy on the interface. Maybe I'll try, but I'm not sure to, to do it properly. Uh, 3D shaded interface, but for now, it's what well, it wasn't a priority. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I will share it on the, on the global innovation forums. And I'll try also to to add it on the CTRLR official website. Oh. I'll try to add it uh, to the CTRLR uh, official website. I send a request to, to add it. And uh, well, feel free to modify it if you want. And I really hope you will give me some feedback on, the, on this panel, maybe the, the interface, uh, is something not working or things like that. I, uh, I'm alone to do this, so I didn't have uh, beta testers, but I hope you will, uh, you will do it for me if you, if you want. You can uh, send me a message on the, on the forum, and uh, you can find my, uh, my email in the panel properties. So now uh, let's try it a little. I will, um, well, I will play on the Novation Bus Station 2, only on the keyboard, and I will modify uh, parameters here on screen so you can see it and you can hear it. I will choose, um, well, whatever, yeah, let's say this preset. <laughs> Unlike other BSTs you might have, um, the reset function on the buttons is the double click. It's not a CTR, uh, control click or uh, alt click it's, or mash click, it's a uh, double click on the, on the no bit reset it on, uh, on the neutral amount, I'll say. So as you can see, it's uh, it's working. Um, well, I hope you will enjoy it. For now, um, I'm still working on the on the automatic uh, on an automatic function to adjust. Uh, well, as you can see, when I, when I change the preset, nothing is moving on the on the panel. I'm working to change that but that's not uh, easy particularly if you don't uh, if you don't know a lua language uh, of programming for programming i think that that i as i said it's really simple for now so well here it is you can uh, 
you can have it, you can modify it, and uh, I hope you will uh, give me some feedback.